hello everybody. It is uh, Thursday. Is it the, is it the ninth today? Uh, you know, dates Eighth? are, are you know, Eighth? dates are largely meaningless. It's, it's uh, the Thursday before Conor McGregor fights Dustin Poirier for the third time. I'm Luke Thomas. That's Brian Campbell. We're the hosts of Morning Combat. This is our Inside Podcast. And it's probably sounding like shit right now because you're on a run, Luke, lately. Yes. Of just shitting. No, the last one was okay. Of just shitting your pants when it comes to no, setting no, up. No, no, no. The, the last one was okay. The last one was okay. Um, anyway, this is called Room Service Diaries, and this is where we get fired. So, hi. BC, yeah. you're extra giggly today. No, no, no. We did have a few drinks with dinner uh, with our producers, uh, Mikey, Less Than <sighs> Jake, uh, Manich, so... You know, room service diaries and spirit. Luke, it's I'm about in my, to drink it's in like a hoe. Margaritas. Jose Cuervo. That's good. We could have a gallbladder emergency. Oh, yeah. The amount of sugar in this fucking thing? Yeah. About to be a diabetic with this bitch. I don't care anymore. Luke, uh, Luke is giving up right now. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> you just saw a man quit, yeah. quit on himself. He's 41, almost yeah, 42, yeah. and he's drinking shit that 16-year-old girls drink when they get together and have someone buy them alcohol. That just looked a lot like uh, the UFC 196 main event, you know what I mean? It just, what was the 196 main event? Uh, Nate Connor won. I don't understand that joke at all. You know, uh, I, you know I'd have to, we, could, we should just keep going. I could explain yeah. it to you. I, you like, you uh, sound like you've been having a couple of gummies. <laughs> oh, Did no. you have any gummies? No, no. Um, anyway, today was the press conference. Uh, it was okay. It was okay. It was entertaining. We, we, you got to put. You got to say that. It definitely was. I mean, the week has been. Not, I don't want to say the week has been slow. Um, it's been weird because because yeah. McGregor hadn't done the the typical uh, media stops. But also, and, like post COVID, like people are back, but they're not like back in the way that they were before. They're just a lot more back than at the height of the pandemic. Uh, there's no Irish people here hardly, you know, which is like weird because when I, when I, I went to uh, the Khabib fight, there's a lot of Irish people there, and then dude in New York at 205, holy fucking shit, they shut down Seventh Avenue, you know, you don't you don't feel that here at all. No, there's not uh, the subways here aren't filled fill with water, Luke. If that's where they really where you were going there, I, mean, it's, it's, <laughs> I was watching that. It's brutal. It's absolutely. Brutal. I was watching that, and I really felt horrible for that woman because I was like, dude. How fucked up are your travel options <laughs> where, where you saw a scenario that we would look at and be like, oh, this is a thing I can no longer do. And you go, get, like, you know what? I'm just going to I'm just gonna do it anyway. I, 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 um, you got to have some real limited travel options when that's, that, that's when that happens. That's a fair point, yeah. Like the, like the choice of your this room for you, too. <laughs> Maybe, if we're being honest. Dude, they put me, I don't want to say what it is because I, I just want to be disparaging as possible without any repercussions. <laughs> Yeah, you know, they put me in the worst motherfucking hotel, <laughs> and like my 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 view, it's, it's like wrong. it's like heavy machinery and ho- <laughs> homeless people blowing each other, <laughs> like whatever crack is left over in their pockets. It's the worst fucking view ever. <laughs> wow! 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 No, no, I would agree. <laughs> what is your view? Do you have a better view? You see, I, can you see the strip? I can see uh, the parking garage for T-Mobile Arena. I can almost see Toshiba Square. I've got like a yeah, little, okay. little angle right, into right, it. So right. That's not so bad. I can see whatever. the pool. Yeah, whatever. That's okay. I mean, that pool's nubs, too. That, <laughs> that, whole, that whole... Every time I walk through the lobby, I'm like, here comes Dengue Fever, you know? Yo, it, this place um, is not nearly, though, not nearly as trashy as... Um, as like Excalibur and Luxor and those others right, right Bro, down there. you go to Excalibur and the poker chips are literally <laughs> dirty. I mean, you go, that's yeah. just, you're just, if you, can you imagine people gambling there all night long? I couldn't imagine ever going back in there one more time, no. It's like, you ever have that friend who, uh, who, like, meets a girl who, you know, I mean, he's no prize either, but, like, she's X-Files. Yeah. <laughs> Ugly. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, and he's, like, regaling you with stories of yes. banging her, yes. and you're like, yes. dude, that's not as impressive as your... Making it out to be, I got to tell you. And also, and now I no longer wish to eat. Yeah. <laughs> I had, I had yeah. a few fraternity brothers who would who pulled off some stunts like that. Yeah, that's why you have to avoid the Greek life, Luke. You bunch no, of, the Greek life know, is great. It was fucking dude. Jerks. The best. Here's the funny part: is if you were not an idiot, uh, I don't mean like intellectual. I mean like about this idea, 
and you had gone to college with me, dude, you are built for Greek life. Nah, I don't, you I don't are, think so. I don't think you so. You are Blue Tarski. No, no, actually. 0.0 0 uh, GPA. You know, actually, frat guy uh, to the nth degree. Yes, you are. I you have, I you have, don't uh, think that is because in your mind you nah, think, bro, you I think like guys whose parents have trust funds and they like to row on the fucking, you know, rowing team or something. No, it's no, not I like have, that at all. I have integrity. I don't need to join a system that's basically like a, you know. You mean, you mean a bunch of dudes who just pay for parties to collectively is really what it comes down to? I mean, did you? Have, did hey, you, let's <laughs> pool our resources to have big shit. Okay. Did you have an eyes wide shut like initiation? I no. mean, that's really where I want. No. That's really where I'm going with this, Luke. No. Okay. Do you know where hazing comes from? Uh, probably the skull and bones. Luke. No, hazing came came from the military, and it didn't really enter Greek life. Greek life was initially just like, like rich people doing philanthropy, and when the uh, guys after World War II got the GI Bill, it's a true story. They got the GI Bill. Um, there was a bunch of them who ended up going to college because they had money they didn't have before. And they were like, hey, I'd love to show you some fuck fuck games that we learned. Let's show it to you. And it got ingrained. And that's where hazing uh, entered into college. Did any people in that story marry a Colombian woman, Luke? What? I was just, I was just, you know. No, I, I didn't understand your blah, blah, blah <laughs> quick question. I think I just severed your artery, Luke. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so. Uh, you know, weigh in was a, a moment this week, but what? yes, a slow week in a lot of ways. You know, not a lot of news coming out of this. No. Connor finally speaks. He was looking through Dustin last time. Just a lot of that bullshit. Nothing serious there. Um, Luke, could you explain though to the people? I got a co- I got a couple things to say, hair right. wise and hygiene wise. Luke, should I address the uh, <laughs> the shoe polish incident? Yes, Luke, Wayne maybe. Newton. <laughs> So look, it was a bad. It was a really bad. Dude, you're like uh, you're like this version of Ric Flair looking in the mirror and looking at his hair and being like, nailed it. You know. It's like, you know, no, did, no, you didn't, Rick. Did I go darker than I thought I was going? Yes, right. Like, like all the actresses on um, Black Raw, Luke. I know. I was like, dude, are you, are they sending you to cover fights in fucking Kandahar? Why are you you know coloring your hair so dark? Yeah. So uh, I did go. You know, I went I went a shade or two too dark, and then the problem was it was longer than I normally kept it, and for whatever was with that lighting setup, Luke, because I walked on set and people weren't looking at me like I had a third eye yet. It was only when people saw the video and the light re- reflection, and then it's like, yo, you got a problem on top of your head right now. Dude, they thought, they were like, dude, when did Shavkat Rachmanov, <laughs> who has wolf pelts on his head, when did he start hosting MK and learning English? You didn't get like an Elvis uh, 68 comeback special vibe, though? Look, man, that was a bad day for, well, the, you know, it was, the, the, it, I had my own shit to worry about. So I was a little bit out of it. And also, like, Vegas is weird in the morning. T- tell me if I'm wrong. In the night, too, but, like, I guess all day. Yeah, every second of the day. Yeah. Vegas. If you're inside, yeah. Vegas is surprisingly well lit and yet dark at the same time. Everything is dark and also light. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's weird. So I, I saw you. I didn't recognize your hair, like, was different at first because you just, I don't know, it, it kind of blended in. Yeah, but I also think your, your vision is shit. My vision's bad, too. Yeah. But, like, but here's when I noticed it. When you sat down on the other side, I was like, wow, my man really went for it with this <laughs> this one. He's just trying to be like, you know what you guys saw in the past? Yo, fuck that. I'm about to blow past that standard. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know I, had a, I had a misstep. I stumbled, okay? <laughs> Dude, when you picked you that know, out. I fixed that shit quick. When though, you picked right? that out, were you like, boy, I'm about to look. I'm about to look 21 again. Yeah. I, I, it was an overcorrection in many ways. The last time I died, I didn't nearly get out. The amount of grace promised in the transaction, Luke. So I, I went for it this time. You know, I, I, uh, I, I stumbled though. You know. Hey, listen. You reached for the stars. I did. And you maybe you didn't. Thing, you know, maybe you didn't make it to the stars. The thing is, you know, you go for it for great. The challenger you're... did blow up in your face. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Yeah, you you were Sally Ride there. Uh, so. But you know, I fixed that for like twenty four dollars, Luke. Okay. Fixing is a. I fixed that, and I also got the massage. The the you know. The okay, I have not combed my hair. For this thing, I mean, it's it's room service diaries. I'm not going to put a lot of effort in presentation. I got a haircut in Vegas. I looked the place up on Yelp, and then I looked the individual guy up on Instagram. I did my due diligence, but I found a place where the base of the cut is uh, sixty, and then whatever tip you want to give and then tax oh, or whatever. Sixty dollars for a haircut compared to DC, that's a fucking steal. That, dude. No, that's a no, steal. Luke, 
I, I, I would love to pull... Yeah, but dude, you're, you, okay, like, I would I'm love not, to pull I'm not, I'm not, a cross-section of dude, DC residents dude. and be like, what, do you regularly pay for a haircut? I oh. guarantee they're not going to be like, yo, bro, it's DC, man. I pay 80 every time. No chance, dude. I think you'd be surprised. If you're, you're in a category of, like, blinded weirdness. Like, Dude, there are plenty of places significantly there's... more high-end than the one I go to. Mine is very middle of the road. Yeah, but the fact that you grew up thinking that's normal, Luke. I didn't. I grew up in okay. the suburbs. I grew up in a... Dude... You, here's what here's what BC thinks. BC is the guy who pulls up in the Honda Accord, and the other person is sitting in like let's say an Infinity, and he goes, "Oh, see, we both have cars, <laughs> right? We both have cars, but these are not equivalent cars, dude." And I'm not saying I've got like the world's most amazing haircut, but you know your fade's not that money, dude. Yeah, bro, it's not that money. You're asking uh, your your barber to give you, and it looks good, but like the most basic fade. Yes, yes that's true. Okay, that's and, true. It, and there's skill involved. And there's levels. I'm, obviously, I know there's levels, but you're making it seem like these levels are like this far apart. When they're, they're, they're I, very I think close. you get a lot of. They're people, very close. You get, when you cut it paying, that short, you can't fuck that. If you're up. paying twenty four dollars for a haircut in a major metropolitan city, which you are, you're running a risk. You're running Yo, a risk. I Sorry. ran that risk with the back massage and the shampoo. You know the whole thing. Okay. Twenty four in the suburbs, fine. Twenty four from somebody who's like a trained professional, that you know, whatever. In a in a city. Yo, Sorry. if you had a more elaborate hair scheme, Luke, it would back up your your stringent black have, or white beliefs on this. Even though we lived in a gray world right now, just like the color of your hair. Of my there. hair, yeah. dude. My hair is just. I look at me on camera now, and I'm like, I can't. Every time I look at my phone, there's a picture of me that shows up. I just want to spit on my phone. I'm yeah, like, yeah. you are a Yo, disgusting, horrible person. <laughs> yeah. And could, could you be whiter, Gandalf? Uh, Jesus, fuck. Um, Luke, I did want to bring up the fact that we. Uh, no pity on us, okay? No pity on us. It's fine. We're, we're paid. We're professionals. But we do these, like, hits, news hits on camera mm -hmm. <laughs> at the peak of, of heat at, like, 113 degrees. Dude. And we're out there for, like, 40 minutes with all the setup and standing around. That's just not a good equation this week in Vegas when we have a, Bro. a studio next door, like, indoors. We have a, we have a, we have a money setup. At this place, and they're like, we want to do the outdoor hits because they want to see T-Mobile in the background, you know? Okay, fine. Can we do those at five in the morning, please? Because <laughs> like, do, like, we did one at eight a.m. and by eight thirty, it was. It, it, I can't explain how much hotter it was in yeah. thirty minutes. When it gets hot in the desert, it gets hot like that. Dude, it's a, it's it, yeah. You're right. It, it's like it goes from zero to like, oh, we're in this. Like, yeah. we're, this Dude, is at eight. It right wasn't. Now. It was like, okay, it's not great, but it's fine. And then by eight thirty. Jesus, man! I had sweat pouring off my yeah, back. Yeah, I sweat. I sweat through the entire the entire offering, the suit there. Oh, dude, was... I almost had a panic attack after the uh, presser. So the presser's over, and we have to immediately run to our cameraman. We have to immediately put the stuff on and do the hits like right away. And dude, it was so loud in there that I had to turn the earpiece up, like so they could you know the volume could match it or whatever. Yeah, but you the were melting. But in the front pro of me. But the problem was, dude, in my ear. They're giving us instructions, and they'll tell us, like, you know, you're on camera, BC goes first, Luke, you follow, or whatever. The producer's giving you instructions. Dude, he sounded like Charlie Brown's teacher in my ear. What? <laughs> I'm like, dude, I don't know what yeah, the but that's fuck like, you are telling dude, me. That's a dude in, like, a control room. Like, that, uh -huh. like that's not what it's going to sound like when they go live. You know what I mean? Like, that's... that's a, well, luckily, A, I could hear the, the guy who was hosting the show just fine. And right as we went to him, did you notice that the volume in the place dropped? Yes. So all that loud ass music that the UFC blasted you with, it, 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 it dropped significantly right before we went on air. So it was fine. But dude, I was like, if this fucker's telling me this on air, I'm just gonna be, yes, Connor was here today and it was great and yay or whatever. Anyway, yeah, right. pretty, that's pretty extreme, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's next level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you wanna answer some of these questions? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I probably had a few other things I wanted to say, Luke, or bring up. But, Dude, I've yeah. been farting. But these have been long days. You know, when you get to the end of that long day, you uh, it's not you can't connect the. Dude, I've had the I've had the kind of farts here oh in God. Vegas, <laughs> where I'm like, how do I cam <laughs> how do I camouflage this noise? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you, know, you know, you you would shit your pants with like UFC PR people, like right. Like, it's like this one is going to be. <laughs> Volcanic. It's not like will they get caught with the shrapnel? It's like it's like will they get caught to the yeah, level of that right. that like they might be crying? Right, right. It's just how, how like, do I just <laughs> limit the damage at this point? Uh, golly, bro, it has been woo since I've been here. 
I feel sorry for everyone, but hey, listen, when, when nature calls. Uh, okay, by the way, everyone likes the, um, oh, before we get our, uh, going on everything else. Hey, dude, it's a two-year anniversary of MK today. We did it. Isn't we that fucking it. great? That's great. That, you know, shout out to our producers for completely uh, just acting like this wasn't happening. Yeah. You know? yeah. I mean, this is sort of like, okay, cool. <laughs> Congrats, guys. You know? <laughs> there was definitely no high five today. Among the crew, but uh, I'm like we couldn't get like do- catered donuts, like something right here, like something. No, I think it's actually perfect. We got, <laughs> we got, dude. This, this is me dealing with my family on anything. That's how yes, it is. Yes. Do, do you think they? Oh, actually, you know, in fairness, I didn't even know that today was a two-year anniversary. I knew it was in July, because um, that's when obviously everything transitioned over for us. But uh, yeah, okay, man. so two years. Two years. Really, I think uh, we've established something: a tone, a language, a family, a presence, a uh, presence. But, I mean, even two years, we haven't even, we're like, we haven't even begun to put the, uh, mm. the imprint into mm-hmm. what the, uh... It's a good first two, but, um, I definitely want to build a lot more. Like, it's not gonna, this is gonna be like the, uh, one glove Art Jimerson era of UFC compared to where we're gonna be. That's right. Yeah. yeah we gotta be, we gotta transition. Like, but, dude, I'm like, seriously, aren't you like, I don't know, man, I'm pretty fucking happy these days, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, it's great. You know, Luke, when you're artistically... Pleased and fulfilled. Well, we're not really artists, challenged. But. You know, I'm not saying I have a great libido post forty. I'm saying when I'm artistically uh, pushed and challenged. And uh, I've, I've can you be it. serious for a moment and no, tell me like sorry. how you feel about something? I was trying to get there. I got off an exit though. Accidentally. Tell me I, I, seriously, like how do you feel? Two years in, I feel good, dude. Yeah, I feel great. I feel seriously? Great. Yeah. Okay, good. I hope. Yeah, you know, I don't think we've broken enough glass yet, but but like, you know, we got to tow. We got to tow through that crack. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, really, well, that really wasn't a setup. I was just sort of like, just, all right. You, um, you, you need psychological <laughs> counseling. Uh, I, I don't know. I'll just say thanks to everybody first, right? Thanks. Yeah. I think you agree with that. Um, oh, and, and these Irish blokes in the in the bar tonight. Did, did, I, that, did I, mean, I not call it? Did I not tell you that I said the know, Irish were the nicest people in Europe? These, it's not a contest. It's like they're, they're, they're the number one seed. By a country mile. Now they they are now on American soil in Brooklyn, so they are. Two Irish guys came up to us. We were at the bar, uh, you know, working on some stuff, yeah. getting, getting some food before we came here. Two Irish guys came up to us, introduced themselves. They're uh, like, "Yo, Tui, you want to bang? <laughs> let's, yo, let's bang, yeah. man." Dude, you, no one picked up on this except for me. We can't get these questions. Yet. Nobody picked up on this except for me, and uh, BC asked Tai Tui Vasa. And Greg Hardy to their faces. Um, what did you make of it when Greg Hardy said on Instagram, <laughs> "Hey, let's bang," and they took it to mean what you know, like, "Hey, why you know, why did you call this guy out?" Is how they sort of interpreted it. When on the show, we had discussed explicitly that the Greg Hardy post of "Let's bang" <laughs> to another man was a little bit too, you know, there was conflicting narratives there at a bare minimum, right? Are you trying to bang him or are you trying to? <laughs> Fist fight him. <laughs> and, B- fight him. and BC. It's all the same. BC asked the question, like, dude, what did you think <laughs> Tai Tuivasa meant when he wrote Let's Bang? <laughs> and, they were, and they took it like. I, mean, I don't know if I went that direct. Oh, know, dude. That you, direct. The, roll the tape. Roll the tape. And I, I, I asked them, I was like, dude, this motherfucker. <laughs> like, there was years that went by where I would, like, say shit, and then I'd see people later, dude, and there was, like, all this beef that was built up that I had to, like, diffuse every time. Yeah, you're good at pissing people off. Yeah, yeah. Well, they haven't figured out you're doing it yet, but when they do... Oh, no, come on. No dude, way, no your way. comeuppance is going to no, be... No, no, it's oh, not. Buddy. No, it's not. Yeah, no, it's not. I'm not saying anyone's going to physically attack I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like... You were begging Connor to send you to hell today. You were fucking needling. You would. You know, the thing you is, know, though, you, the thing you were is up there though, asking you, questions like you weren't as bad as the other guy. Be like, yo, Connor, you ain't one shit since <laughs> Barack Obama's been in office. I was like, oh, this guy is. This guy's gonna get fucking knifed in the parking lot for this. Yo, uh, yo, what you out- didn't do that. You didn't do what, that. What bro. outlet is that guy from? Fucking Wavos.com, bro. That's where he was from. You wanted to clown him because of the pink jacket, dude. He, I was, and you know, the question was a little bit insane, but, uh, but the question at the end, he was like, you know, what's the source of confidence? Connor didn't take to it like, like he didn't like that shit at all. Yo, people, man. the 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 result of the uh, unofficial internet polling I've done just by looking at my Twitter feed has shown that people really, uh, really felt like Connor took 
big L's in some of those moments by not responding yeah, but I was or like, not having a comeback, you mm-hmm. know? But I was looking at but I was looking at social media posts from like mainstream outlets and there was a lot of <clears throat> Connor's back, like Connor did it, there he is. So I do think Yo, I, they I, can't they can't hear Jimmy. I do think there's a narr- there's a there's a kind of fan that's like dude there, here, there, here's the reality uh, for a second. Tell me if you, if you agree with this. There was a lot of people that got hooked on the Conor McGregor come up oh, and the yeah. experience and how fucking they're, and yeah. they become like old deadheads. They're yes, just, and they're addicted to that experience and they're and they're just trying to they're trying to get a sip of that. They're from trying Connor to get this cocaine time. to feel the same way the second time. Right? Yeah, and and I don't know if they're gonna get what they're looking for or not. We'll see, um, but. I do feel like they people were like, write songs about never finding but, what they're looking for. But dude, in that but dude, don't you? I mean, seriously, for just a second, like there was a lot of people like he would go up there and just say this like unnecessarily disparaging shit, and they were like, "Yeah, fuck that guy and fuck his sauce," and they, they were just they were dying for him to come talk about his big Irish balls and and whatever else. And I don't know, that's part of the Conor McGregor fandom thing, I think. It is, um, but man, my but, farts are absolutely. <laughs> Lethal. This fight, Luke, and like it's not like you know we're not really doing this room service diary to talk about the, the narratives of this fight, but you know the whole thing was uh, still centered around does Connor still have it, dude? If he doesn't have it, like if he gets like knocked the f out, like this guy's gonna be bad, dude. Think That's about bad. that. Think of, I'm like seriously think about it. He's never making 45 again. He's not getting a title shot any freaking time soon at, at if he wins, he is. Oh, or that's, I mean, he, it's going to be a short hook to get to get you right, but to get a win and come back in. But it's like he's not going to fight for a welterweight title. Like no. a, 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 a bad loss uh, uh, here. Dude, you can't be Dustin. It does pin him in a certain category. Like it's still going to be a big category. Dude, but dude, it's... The, uh, Kamar Usman would do terrible things to Conor McGregor. That would be. I, I mean, yeah, that'd be a, that's a bad fight for him. Uh, we'll see about dude. We'll see about Saturday, bro. We we we, we hear some shit on the ground that we can't quite share. <clears throat> I don't know what to make of it. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a big. They call it a cock tease. Luke. It's a cock tease. Yeah, I don't know what to make of it. But <clears throat> I don't know. I've been wrong about Connor so much. It's like I, I think. It's Is that a, why you're going so over the top to redeem yourself by saying Irish are the nicest people? No, it's actually actually true. I've been consistent about that for a long time. Uh, no, I'm picking Dustin to win just because I think the evidence is stronger for him, but it may not be. But. Um, Yo, the evidence is overwhelming for him. It's not overwhelming. Like, nah, nah well, it is. It, there's a lot of evidence out there. You, overwhelming see, evidence to think he'll win. There's strong evidence. I don't know if it's overwhelming. I think it's pretty overwhelming for those that that know. The, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For those that know. For people who put their ear <laughs> to the grindstone. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, if you if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. What we were talking about <laughs> hidden, right there. Yeah. Money. I don't know. All right, let's get to these questions, and uh, then I can check out Perv City later. Perp City is. <laughs> I know, I know. But they are. They are into some parts that. Uh, <laughs> edit that part out after. Perp yeah. City is. Can they sponsor me, please? Uh, all right, let's get these questions. Questions. Yo, I can't believe you showed that tattoo to Jared, and he had no idea. I did. I was so bitter. I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Uh, until I saw footage of that, by the way, and uh, for the first time, I remember you mentioning it, but I never remembered it happening in real time. So then I went back and I watched it, yeah. and uh, yeah, that was that was not a good moment. Luke. I don't care. Hey, listen, you miss all the shots you don't take. Okay. Yeah. And I no, was. But you were wondering if if I had the uh, like. I'm no one wants to be. You know, the... I've been bigging you up this episode. You don't big me up. I mean, I shit on you too. Yo, but fuck you, bro. All right. Dude, we're sitting at dinner. <laughs> we're sitting at dinner last night, and it was one of those moments where everyone's kind of paused, eating at the same time. And BC just puts his salad down. He was having a salad. I will give him credit. It's that liver. Uh, and he put his salad down. He goes, "Yo, yo, fuck Luke. Am I right?" And he looked around the table and he goes, "Am I right?" <laughs> I was like, okay. I was like, did you want some of my asparagus? <laughs> yeah. uh, you're welcome to it. Yeah, I think that nailed the moment, though. You know? <laughs> People knew what was up, you know. I was like, Dad, is that you? <laughs> what? Did, you came all this way? That's very kind. Uh, all right, here we go, BC. From Doc Jono, USA, apparently. We have to like identify their country of origin now. <laughs> Otherwise, everyone gets bitter. I'll throw out a few names of actors to you, okay? Yeah. They uh, Then you can give me what you think is either their best movie or at least your favorite movie of theirs. All right. Clint Eastwood. <clears throat> That's a good question, actually. 
If your answer's not Dirty Harry, you can get the fuck out. <clears throat> I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, that, that, it, but you almost, can get the fuck out. That almost just feels Harry. too easy uh, to, to even stay in the whole Western Dude, vibe. These, where, these, where kids, was, these kids today don't know about Clint Eastwood and Dirty, uh, Dirty Harry. That, yeah. that movie, was, or that whole series, basically. I just don't, as long as we don't go anywhere near a million dollar baby, I'm, I'm okay with this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, how bad was that shit? That was <laughs> come watch this. Come watch this uplifting story of quadriplegia and shattered <laughs> dreams. <laughs> all, all in the pursuit of, well, in the end, absolutely nothing. Yeah, well, that, um, yeah, that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's a real fucking... That know. movie takes one of the hardest turns. Like, like just... You're like, I'm dude, she is going to do it. And then, yeah, you get and like, the whole shit was over. The whole bro. shit was over. The whole shit was over. And then it's over. not even like you get blindsided and oh, it's just all oh, a little turn in the story, but it's going to come back around. Like, no, all hope is lost. Here, watch the ending. You know, it's. All right, here we go. Chuck Norris. I actually don't think it's Delta Force. I never liked Delta Force that much. What's that? Um, What's the movie he had around 85 with USA in the title? Because that movie rules. There's a scene in one of his movies where he has this like slow, um, you know, profound moment in a movie theater where he he's about to you know fight the main villain. And uh, I forget what movie that was called, but that's I remember thinking at the time that I saw that that it was one of his better flicks. Can you get off your motherfucking phone? What are you <laughs> yeah, doing? I was trying to find the name of that movie, but. Uh... Uh, Samuel L. Jackson. You know, he was um, incredible in uh, the one with uh, McConaughey, the, the the court one. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yes, uh, yeah, yes I hope they die and I hope they burn in hell, that one. Yeah. Is that a time to kill? A time to kill, yes. You know, the, you know, he's incredible in that. Yeah, yeah, he's good in that one. He's obviously Pulp Fiction's a big, yeah. you know, can't lose sight of that. He, he, he sucked as Mace Windu, but like... <laughs> He was really miscast. Yo, I'm like, yeah, you got the guy was, from Pulp Fiction to play stuff. like, yeah. you should have gotten like, you know, LeVar Burton or, or, uh, you know, somebody who's got a little bit of like a, a, a nerdier vibe. Yo, but Mace Windu had a moment though against Palpatine. I mean, he was dude. It, he beat him. Yo, he, he beat was. Palpatine. Yeah, I guess it was a pretty big moment. Yeah, he beat, I mean, he, he, he had him. He had him done for, and then Anakin is a bitch. <laughs> I mean, that's like, it's a heartbreaking loss. I mean, it's, it's a life, you know, crumbling loss. Dude, but he he knows he was that close to being in the dance, though. Dude, you know, you know what is, like, you know, is amazing to me? Is, what's the one, like, real commonality between Luke Skywalker and Anakin Skywalker? Before the whole Darth Vader thing. What's the main commonality? Dude, both are some whiny-ass <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> that's a great point on Luke. Dude, they, I mean, dude like, Luke I, Skywalker just whines. Dude, I love to live in movies. the church of only Luke's coolness, and that's uh, Return of the Jedi, where he's just a... I mean, he's dressed in black. Okay, he's not a, Return of the Jedi, he, like, had, he had some swag. You know, but, he, he, had, he was a badass in Return of the Jedi. Dude, and Yoda, and I, and Yoda, I sometimes dude, get in this tunnel where I think that's who he is, No, and, yo, he was a whiny... He yeah. fucking whines yeah, constantly, yeah, and then Yoda's point. like, yo, don't do this dumbass shit. He's like, yo, you don't know shit. What the, what the fuck you, <laughs> you know? And they wrote that he filled it. You know, he he made it work. But you know, he didn't make that shit work. Yoda, well, yo, you know, yo, you know, Yoda bitch. called that. Yoda called that shit to a T. Yoda was like, "Yo, this Anakin kid, fuck this kid. Let him be a slave." He, he's not, <laughs> you remember that? Fucking Yoda was like, "Yo, this slave ass kid, he can be a slave. Yo, fuck shit. him." Yo, I think, Yoda, I think you must be menciaing somebody right now. No, I, don't. I remember all that, dude. Yoda was like right all along, and then these two wanted to. But by the time we became Darth Vader, he's, he's cool as shit. But, but you know, they, I remember watching these movies. I'm like these fuckers. So like, y'all complain a lot, man. Yo, but you think they're a, a, you think young Luke is a bigger bitch than than Prime Kylo? <sighs> what is Prime Kylo for you? Uh, it, it, there's, it's, when, there's he, when he knifes his own father, that's pretty, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty bold. <laughs> Come here, Dad. Let me embr- in the words of Vinnie Paz. Let me embrace you like my favorite person. And he knifed him. I mean, he did finish the job, but there are you know there's some con- conspiracy theories to it. The problem is he's like a goth kid who could actually fight, which makes him so fucking annoying. You know, it's Yo, like he's like emo. It's like, dude, like under most like like ninety nine point nine percent of the time. You are the kid that everyone beats up. Like that guy, obviously was not that dude. But he, you know, he just had. He didn't have a. He didn't have a great <clears throat> aura. I mean, we want to idolize young Anakin because we know he ends up becoming a badass. But yo, Anakin sucks, Anakin, bro. Anakin sucked ass. 
should have left him a slave with that 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 mosquito looking dude. Here, keep keep working on trinkets, bitch. Go build me some cheap three PO. I need someone to take out the trash, bitch. Dude, do you think that's a bad loss? At, at, Seriously, uh, it's like, dude, this is that's Darth Vader. This is, this is to me like the question. Have you ever seen these moral dilemmas? If you could go back in time, would it be ethical to murder baby Hitler? So the idea would be like, okay, you're murdering Hitler, great. Wow, this is getting dark. This oh, is really getting no, dark. No, it's, right it's a it's a sort of a basic, but a, a common moral dilemma. Yes, you're murdering Hitler, so you save you know the lives of maybe millions and millions of people, but you are killing in this particular case an innocent baby. Uh, do you do it? You know, I mean, I what, think, what, what would you me. do if your son think, was at home? Look at me, crying all alone. Look at me. I think you know which one I would do. <laughs> His bedroom floor because he's <laughs> a little hungry. stabby, stabby. <laughs> oh, what I get to save the world from this prick? Okay, sorry, little kid. You know, because we, we, um. So, do you think? You know, Anakin. This is so lame. Do you think Anakin and Darth Vader are, are are just you know two different people where it's okay to love the Darth and forget how much of a bitch he was before? The- <laughs> I know it's like if you get introduced to Anakin as Darth Vader, it's a wake up call to see him as Anakin. It's like, damn, dude, you're kind of acting a little harder than we know you to be. Like, yeah. You know, do you think if we broke down technically the decisions he made in that uh, Mustafar system uh, battle with with um with o- young Obi-Wan that he lost. Wait, you know, which one? The, the one that Obi-Wan had the higher ground, and he... Oh, and you Anakin. Know, yeah, yeah, Anakin. Yeah, when Anakin would go all carved up. Yo, and he burn. beat that ass, bro. In fact, like, he, he changed... Like, he... I mean, that was... That was yeah, uh, he gave him the business. That was next level there. Do you think... Um, that's like a major upset in some ways. Like, yeah, that, I didn't see that one coming, because Anakin was supposed to be, like, you know... Yo, I just, yo, I so Yoda was right. Anakin had blind spots. Bro, you know who, like, basically... He complained a little bit, but didn't really complain? Like, you know who was bout it, bout it? Fucking Chewbacca. Chewbacca. <laughs> Chewbacca. Yeah, Chewbacca was like, yo, Chew- you, dude, you go to Chewbacca and be like, dude, we gotta go fight these guys. <laughs> Will you come with us? How many of your friends were like, fuck no, I'm not going with you. Chewbacca's like, where? Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Ah, someone's gotta get it. Chewbacca's in a mood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Chewbacca. Yeah. Dude, this is the dumbest conversation I've literally ever had in my life. I have, reached Yo, pinna- I have reached pinnacle nothing. Yo, Chewbacca was relentless. I, but I'm saying know. Chewbacca was a loyal ass friend, man. Loyal ass friend. <laughs> yeah, you know, they want. I love Chewbacca. <laughs> you always saw Chewbacca with a weapon in hand. What? So I got someone talking shit. I love Chewbacca. Yo, do you think, in you know, in hindsight, that you know, Lando had no other choice? Calrissian. Yeah. Yeah. So he he, had, he, redeemed he was himself. a self preservationist for sure, but was he He redeemed himself. He redeemed himself. In the end he did. Plus if you watch the new shitty ass movies, which he, he you know I almost wish he had died, frankly, as a character. Yo, uh, he he in that cloud city he probably he was probably like dude, just just really Oh, he had BDE <laughs> in the fucking clouds for sure. Dude, Billy D personified coolness for like a decade. You know what I mean? Still yeah. does to a degree, but you know what I mean? Like, it was a moment in time where... Yo, he, yeah, he was tearing up that He was body. like, he, you know, I don't think he had any problem finding a good company, let's say. Yo, did, did you just speak out against uh, the portrayal of young Lando in the uh No, quite the opposite. Movie? I, actually feel like, I actually feel like if you look at the two characters, the Lando Calrissian from the original one, and then the one played by... Um, this talented guy whose fucking name escapes me, but he, all these alter egos he has. But he nailed that. He nailed that role. Uh, yeah, those two are the most similar. <clears throat> like you could tell, um, they wanted. He, he tried to be like a new version of it, you know, in a way, or or a, a different one, but to have obviously some similarity. I thought he did a pretty good job with that. The best one I can think of. You know, some Chewbacca continuity too, but that's a little bit easier to write in. Yo, um, Rogue One was so good, I need something directly connected to that with that same tone, with that same feeling all over again. You know? Rogue One is good. It's very good. I love it. But I don't love it like you love it. Yo, it's oh, it's because there's emotion. It feels real. Let's get back to these know? questions. I mean, I'm just sitting here singing the praises of fucking Chewbacca. So. <laughs> Yo, Chewbacca let's was loyal as shit, let's, though. Dude, yeah. I'm telling you, man. Can you imagine having a friend like that? Be like, dude, Chewbacca will fuck <laughs> this guy up. <laughs> I'd be like, get in there, Chewie. <laughs> Go make us look cool. Plus, he drinks, you know? Oh, fuck. Chewbacca must be a fucking <laughs> laugh. Dude, I would love to get drunk with Chewbacca. <laughs> Yo, what's your take on droids? Yo, fuck droids, right? Fuck those motherfuckers. They ain't shit. 
I think they're amazing Wookiee tales of like Pippin. Uh, I don't know. Uh, all right, from Sugar Cows, Great Britain. If you had been given a second chance at life in which you had the goal in mind to become a successful and professional athlete, yeah, well, that's about how much it would take. Which sport or combat sport do you believe you would have had the best chance in making a successful living out of? Big fan of the show from Little Old Cornwall in England. Shouts to England. All right. The, it might be coming home. I don't know. Um, kind of root for Italy, but, you know, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, what do you think, BC? <clears throat> Repeat that question. If you had to do uh, a combat sport, you another know, like, life to do it in. No, he or, said or, sport, or, sport. or sport, or sport. Which one would I have the most realistic chance of doing professionally? I don't, or, it's hard to tell. Like, you do think, you know, if I could grow up like Todd Marinovich, like just you know, like just like in a system, you know, yeah, what I mean, yeah, just yeah. in like a like a you know, in, like a, just a full on no, no stone unturned. Could I mean, it's not like we're okay. We're old whitewashed guys now. We're just some old dads right now. It's like not that long ago we were an old piece of the shit. You yeah, know what not I mean? not. Yeah, it's. I can still remember when I was there. Yeah, a completely awful and washed nothing. Yo, fuck that. <laughs> God, this is stupid. What are we fucking doing? All right, here we go. Uh, oh, for me, I don't know. Fuck, I guess jujitsu. I guess. Uh, but yo, dude, fuck all that. Yo, a Gracie would tap the shit out of you. <laughs> probably, probably a million times. All right, from Hutch Bass, USA. Here's my question. Uh, who do you both think would win in a... What the fuck? In a Mortal Kombat-style tournament between these action movie donks? Schwarzenegger, Stallone, Seagal, JCVD, Norris, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Jet Li, and one wild card entry of your own choice. Man. <coughs> Yo, Schwarzenegger can't fight for shit, bro. No, bro he <laughs> He's just can. so strong. Dude, he can't even speak English for shit. <laughs> It's like, dude, you know what's amazing is my mom, uh, she had a very small accent, you know, she didn't have a thick one, but like, her her uh, siblings and, and also her cousins, they'd been in America just as long, and they have much thicker accents. Like, it just stayed. Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger was like, he got halfway there, and it was just like... <laughs> Good enough. Yeah. God bless him. Schwarzenegger's my fucking hero. Yo, do you think... Um... Seagal could have just cleaned up on these other clowns like JCVD you know what I'm saying you, dude you're, I, I've been watching some Seagal movies because you've been just so hyping them up yo you better you better stay in that that short prime though don't don't try to go direct to Under video. Siege don't, okay it's, Under Siege is great it's yo. okay It's okay. I mean it's got some holes but it's it's still <laughs> it's okay there's some high moments though okay um, they reach peaks it's ambitious I don't know definitely I, I don't know I don't know can I just say I don't care about this okay. move along <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'll have to put that wheel of death, I guess. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, what's one extreme travel-related bucket list item you have yet to complete? I.e., for example, um, summoning a mountain or something. I mean, B BC's is <clears throat> getting on a plane to Europe, which he has literally never no, done. No, I would love to do that. Um... And no, it's not a money thing. You can you can afford it at this point, bitch. I know how much you yo, money you yo, make. Don't, yo, you don't know shit. <laughs> I, know, I know how much money you make. Um, BC, you got one? Uh, what, what were you saying again? A travel-related, like, uh, well, bucket I mean, list so challenge. It's, it's generic to say, like, skydiving, right? Because this is travel-related to a specific, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, there's there's a lot of mountains. There's so many national parks I, I like, need. I need to go there. I've actually, uh, I'll say this, just in the, well, okay, I would love to go climb, not like all the way to the top of the mountain, but like I'd like to go hiking uh, through mountains in Japan. I think that would be yeah, uh, pretty great. Um, I've been in deserts, I've been in like, you know, crazy climates. Yeah, we're in a crazy climate right now. Yeah, dude. Oh, all right, yeah, well, that's true. Um, I just, I just want to go to... Uh, I want to go see parts of Asia I've never seen as an adult. I want to go to Japan big time. Yeah, Japan for sure. But um, it, I guess I got to do Europe first, Luke. Okay. You got. I mean, it's just you got you got people over there that speak the language. It's not that far. Dude, you, it's like six, seven hours depending on the flight time from where you're at to London. <clears throat> it's the same way you to, to to L.A. It's just as far. I'm telling you, it's just already. As, All right. I mean, it's I, not, I'm not, I'm not in terms of travel you. time, they're roughly equivalent, is what I would say. <clears throat> I'm putting up much more of a battle than 
um, Michael Bisping was willing to do, Luke, when I ran into him at the uh, Media Day uh, uh, food area and then was just, you know, no one was around. He was lingering or something. It's like, yo, like, Mike, like, I'm happy to be reading your book right now and it's awesome. And then I was like, oh, fuck, no one's around, Luke. I'll just, you know, hey, man, when you were in the, in the, uh, in the can at that time and I, was, and I had a specific question about, like, it was kind of uplifting. It wasn't just like Chris Farley's show, like, hey, man, remember when, <laughs> you know? Um, it was close, though. I mean, there was some elements of that in there. And, yo, he was just basically like, um, I'm, I'm out of here. And just turned and was like, yo, good, good talking to you. I'll talk to you later. And it's like, wow, bro. Like, that's just, uh, yeah. I stopped, I stopped listening to you <laughs> about five minutes ago. All right, here we go. Uh, there's one here that's kind of serious. I'll come back to it. What the fuck? The weekend is performing at the casino we just walked through. <clears throat> Should I play this video or will Mikey make it? A... That's not the weekend. Yeah, that's um. What? <laughs> like <clears throat> that's quite obviously not him. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Okay. Uh, big fan of the show. This is from Lovable uh, Savage God. Appreciate all the hard work from you guys. My first question is, what's your favorite Jimi Hendrix song? Oh, Jesus, sure. fuck, we're old getting asked questions like no, that. No, that's, that's solid, yo. That's solid. All right, what do you have to say? V voodoo Child, right? <clears throat> I mean, that that probably should be everybody's Him and Steve Ray Vaughn doing that is just... I've generic. always felt that uh, Little Wing was his best song, but that sometimes it's almost too generic to say that. So I love... Um, Wind Cries Mary, you know, that little, like, feathery solo he's got there, because, because <laughs> Luke, he showed the soft side, bro, he could bring it right there. <laughs> he was like, fuck Luke Thomas, I'm going to show my soft <laughs> but, side. But, you know, I love, like, on, I mean, do Electric Lady Land, just as front to back, right. it's just, it's the just second, our The project. second part of this question is bad, I'm going to skip. You. But we thank you, lovable savage god. Uh, from Dakey, Dakey Smacky, USA. Scariest thing that's ever happened to you. <laughs> And her next question is the best question I've ever seen. Can you imagine asking this to anyone who's uh, other than someone who's an unbelievable piece of shit? <laughs> Ready? She goes, what is, not like, do you know of any? <laughs> what is your favorite? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. Shut, shut it down. Shut it down. Your favorite discontinued. <laughs> this is a this is a train wreck. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh God, that is, that is, that is, that is, that is, that is high comedy, boy. <laughs> what is your fake? You know, be on a date. Wait, like get your niner in there. You know that food they've canceled. <laughs> what, what is your? <laughs> <laughs> The best part is, it's actually a completely reasonable question for you and me. I don't think I've heard it, Luke. I don't think I've put more than three sounds together. It's like, Chewie's here. He's always here, yo. Yo, Chewie will fuck anyone up, you know. Favorite, favorite discontinued. Cut. Oh, oh God, that is, <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know when you guys just like swim in carpet? <laughs> Ever find anything neat? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, we better wrap it up before we get fired. How long have we been on? I don't even know. Oh, God. We have to answer at least one or two more of these. Oh, that was... Uh, <laughs> do you have any favorite discontinued food? 
Like, I guess, I don't uh, know. At this uh, point, no. No, I don't. It's like, <laughs> it's like, remember when they put that Olay oil in chips and like, they were like, oh, it's like half the calories. <laughs> and then everyone had violent diarrhea. I re- <laughs> Dorn, don't give me that Olay bullshit. <laughs> and I was, I was like, you guys get diarrhea from this? I'm like, I get diarrhea from everything. This is, oh, okay, I'll, I'll eat the chips. Um. Um, okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Good question. All right. Look and BC. Give me your ideal at home fight watching setup. Like, where are you? Who's there? What are you eating, drinking? Like, give me give me the lay of the land if you had a, you could set it all I, dude, up. Dude, I've, I've never done that. <laughs> I've I always know. worked. I mean, like, I don't. I, there, I mean, so many people that meet me and they're like, yo, I'd love to watch a fight with you sometime. And I'm like, of course, I'd love to do that. But I'm like, I don't do that. I work fights. Yeah. Every I work. I mean, I'm, it's so uh, I wish I'd like to work on that, Luke. But I'd also like to work when the fights are on. So yeah. that's the, that's the the problem is all the fights that matter. Uh, you're going to be gone for, or at least in our case, even if we're not gone for, we're like busy with. You know what I mean? Like, like he has to write stories, and sometimes I have to score them for CBS Sports or whatever. So like I used to though. So remember, I didn't get into traveling until like midway through. Um, I'll say, like, who's there? Oh, fuck, man. Those people are long gone. Um, I don't know. I, I would say no more than, like, five or six people. I'm not, like, a big party guy that way. Um, you and your Greek brothers. <laughs> what? Do the, do the Greeks multiply or something? Yeah, or, yeah uh, I was talking about your uh, your squad. What, what team were you on, Luke? Dude, what are you like? What are you saying right now? Your fraternity. Oh, uh, Sigma Pi. Okay. Anyway, gotta have chips. Wings, I think, are essential. I think pizza is also essential. And then, you know, make sure there's beer in the fridge and uh, let people bring what they bring. And uh, keep it pretty basic, man. I don't have like any exotic. I'm like you, like, you know, if you've ever seen me tweeting about a fight, like 99.9% of the time, I'm alone in my <clears> office. <throat> This is what I'm doing. No, I, like, yeah, like, I've literally not gone over people's house and watched fights. Luke, yeah. Because He's out, you have to be on your, like, f- your fucking laptop the whole time. But I do remember those days. There was, like, a days, like, in the like the UFC right around, like, Matt Hughes' dominance into that new post-tough wave of, like, here comes St. Pierre and blah, blah, blah. Um, like, right, right, I'd say around, right, you, it, it, starting in the late 30s and then culminating around the... Mm, before UFC 100, there was a hot moment there where you could do that stuff a lot and people were into it. But that, that shit is long gone in my life, man. That's like, let's let's cap it at UFC 100, right? But for me, July 2009, yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been a, a while. while. Since you've been social and had, you know, real friends, Luke. The sport will take that away from you. Yeah, mm-hmm. I said it. It's the best job. It's so much better than everyone else's job, but it will wreck your social life. You you will because to do it right and have the balance between the two, which is so hard, meaning what you give to work and what you give to home, um, you're gonna you're gonna get that that fifty fifty uh, ratio off Luke off base. You yeah, know? you're gonna have trouble, bro. You know, you're gonna take a knee and an L. Okay, are we done? Yeah, that's it. That's all I got. That's it. All right, that's, uh, let's do it. this is where it ends. This is where the fun stops. It's a song by Reef the Lost Cause. Shouts to Reef. Okay. Um, that's Brian Campbell. I'm Luke Thomas. This is not what we normally do, and um, we'll probably never do it again. But thanks for watching, and 